I am announcing today that we are expanding the call of what they are going to be considering this week. And so, yes, they will be considering the congressional map, but they also will be considering termination of all special districts that were enacted in Florida prior to 1968, and that includes the Reedy Creek Improvement District. So now the battle in Tallahassee between Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and the Walt Disney Company getting even hotter. The state Senate there voted 23 to 16 to strip Disney of its self-governing status. It's had that status since... Late 1960s, expected to pass today, which will head to the governor's desk. Well, there's that battle that continues with Disney and DeSantis and apparently the Florida legislature as well, because after DeSantis said all that, as you saw there, the Florida legislature itself voted for this to happen. Let's look at the details here from NBC News. Ron DeSantis called on the legislature to back the measure during its special session this week. House lawmakers passed the bill 6838 after the Senate's 23 to 16 vote on Wednesday. Now this legislation is gonna dismantle Disney's special district on June the 1st of 2023. And that district, which was created by 1967 state law, it usually allows Disney to self-govern by collecting taxes and providing emergency services in their own damn city. Disney controls about 25,000 acres in the Orlando area. And the district allows the company to build new structures and pay impact fees for such construction without the approval of a local planning Commission, hmm, oh, look, one more part about this. Uh, the effort to eliminate Disney's district from DeSantis and this legislature here, known as the Reedy Creek Improvement District, comes after DeSantis began targeting this corporation after the leaders started criticizing his legislation or their legislation that he signed that would prevent classroom instructions on gender identity and sexual orientation in kindergarten through the third grade. As you guys have heard, the don't say gay bill that's been disputed back and forth. Now again, they're doing this out of criticism from Disney. This full move here is out of criticism of Disney. Now, if you're not happy with this, I get it because they kind of were their own entity. But there's other folks in the GOP that aren't very happy about this move because they're seeing what this looks like. Watch. And Jenna, what I was going to ask you is if they had passed this law without discussing their motive, that would have been a different situation, correct? Yes, and that's where retaliation under the law, and I agree with you that Disney isn't necessarily entitled to these privileges. But when a government specifically acts for deprivation of a constitutional right in retaliation, then it becomes an issue on an otherwise perfectly legitimate, otherwise perfectly legitimate and legal and lawful act. The problem here is that everybody knows in the state of Florida and Governor DeSantis has admitted that this is in retaliation against a woke company. That's where you're gonna run into legal trouble. And I really wish that that wasn't the case because I agree with your sentiment against Disney. I just think this is the wrong way to go about it and you're not gonna win this legal fight. Wow, Jenna Ellis, attorney from Donald Trump during his whole dispute of the 2020 election actually has something sensible to say about this. Now again, again, you can disagree with the, 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 the I guess the gifts that were given of Disney to have this self governing area, but is this the way you want to get rid of it because you're mad about their criticizing your legislation that hurts people? Hmm, weird how that works, Francesca. No, I mean, Jenna Ellis with a 1 8, like a very surprising little move here. Like, I, I, I feel almost bad that I was like, you don't know what you're talking about when it comes to law before, because <laughs> she looked like a, a clown, let's be real. She's there with Rudy Giuliani. They're talking about how the election was stolen. And now she's openly saying, you know, comparing essentially. Look, if Gavin Newsom did this to Chick-fil-A in California, that would be unconstitutional and unlawful. Sure. And remember how the the fit that they threw when I think certain airports in like blue states were thinking about not licensing to Chick-fil-A um, in their airports, which they have every right to do. And you know the right wing was freaking out about it. This is the same exact cancel culture. We've been over this territory a million times. My thing that I think is fascinating with this is that this was established in the 60s. And under it, I thought, oh, well, they must have crazy tax write offs. Oh, they must get everything. The state must do mm -hmm. so much for them. But instead, it is a self contained city, as you're saying. So actually, they pay for everything that happens within those acres. They're helping and, and subsidizing the residents who stay within there. And without those protections, those residents 
lose and they have to actually pick up the slack when it comes to taxes. And the state of Florida has got to pick up the slack when it comes to doing everyday things, garbage pickup, you know, street renovation, whatever you have to do. So it's fascinating because this, this is not the deal that I would say like tech companies sometimes get in the you know the year 2020 or the year 2022 which is like or or Amazon like come we'll just you know we'll give you everything you have my first born name it Jeff Bezos I don't <laughs> care this was set up a while ago and it seems to have been working out pretty damn well for both Florida and for Disney so now what's going to happen well, right. looks like hate and bigotry is more important than all that. And maybe Ronda Sanders will catch up to him. When you get this high and mighty on what you think you can just do without any kind of consequence, even from your base, it just might backfire on you. It's crazy how it works. We'll see how many more Jeff Bezos' new babies in the world named <laughs> Jeff Bezos based off of that. I think you started a trend here.